Uploading a file into D2L into your content area is very easy. You need to do this for your course syllabus. I have two example syllabi here, a .docx for a Word document and a .pdf. I prefer a .pdf because then students can't really edit that PDF, but that is totally up to you. So in my course information module, I'll go to the upload or create button and choose upload file. Now I can click to go to my computer and choose upload to search for that file, or you can just click and drag to drop your files in here. So I'll go ahead and drop the document and you have to wait for it to fully load. So it gets to this point where it shows the file name, the size and a close button in order to click add. You do the same thing for a PDF file. So I'll show you the other way to do this. Go to my computer, choose upload, look for it wherever it resides on your flash drive or desktop. And I'll find that PDF and then choose open. And again, waiting for it to upload. The other thing that you can do is you can put it in a specific folder in your course so that your back, the back end of your course with all your files isn't um, chaos. So I like to always create, oops, create a folder in here called course information. And you're gonna have to stretch that out to get to this. So course info, and we don't use capitals or spaces. Um, because this is a web-based system and it doesn't like to have spaces or capitals or weird characters, but a hyphen will work. So I'll go ahead and click create. And now I want to put this file into the course info and select that path and then choose add. Last but not least, if you want to add some instructions to these documents, you can click the drop down menu and choose edit properties in place. And this is where you can add a description. So download to view your assignments, objectives, course dates, class policies, and more. Click update. And now students will also see that little description right underneath your sample syllabus.